Well, even with those added protections, teachers are worried about going back to school too early and will that put their lives at risk? Yeah, but think about this. Many daycare and preschool teachers, they continue to work without slowing down. Austin preschool teacher Claudia Pertau did too until she got sick on July 6th. She was hospitalized 12 days later and then died 10 days after that. Her daughter tells our Candy Rodriguez her mom's death should serve as a wake-up call to older Latinos and the community at large. <laughs> Claudia Bertao had rhythm. She loved dancing. That was her favorite thing. Like everyone always remembered her by her dancing. Her daughter Linda Vasquez holds on to those memories. Anytime anyone would play any music, she would just start dancing. She loved it so much. For Vasquez, her mom was hardworking, selfless, funny, but most importantly, she was loving. She just loved kids and she loved working with them. A Spanish immersion preschool teacher at INIC Preschool in South Austin, she stopped going to work early last month after she developed a cough. Her symptoms seemed kind of, you know, just mild at the beginning, but they like quickly escalated. The 48 year old had health issues, rheumatoid arthritis. Before long, Bertal was hospitalized and placed in a medically induced coma. Doctors said severe damage to her brain meant she may never wake. She always had said like, I don't want to live my life that way if it should ever go down that way. And unfortunately it did. Vasquez believes her mom got the virus from family. It's something I've noticed like in the, in, with us Hispanics is like, we're like, oh, it's nothing. It's just, you know, a cough. She says, sadly, her last conversation with her mom was about COVID-19, an argument. Mom, please listen to me. Like, you know, I love you, but, um, you know, with your illness, we don't know how sick you could have gotten. Vasquez hopes that by sharing her mom's story, others will take it seriously and protect themselves. I wish I could dance with you at least one last time. Um, I just, I miss her a lot. At last check, hospital bills were over $14,000. Though a fundraiser has helped, they'll still have to pay for the funeral, which at this time, they don't know when they'll be able to hold those services. Back to you. All right, thanks, Candy. The family says the $14,000 hospital bill was the total five days before their mom passed away. They expect that bill to be a lot higher, though, especially after Bertau had to be airlifted and transferred to a hospital in Temple. Wow, but so far the family has raised more than $25,000 on a GoFundMe account. They say they plan to use the money to pay the hospital bills and for the funeral. If there's any money left over, the family wants to put it into a college fund for Bertau's 11-year-old daughter. Miss Claudia seems like quite a special woman right there.